another uh, uh, another uh, impact or effect of uh, uh, this uh, one meal a day is um, uh, is on my uh, uric acid levels so that is another problem that i had since the last uh, 10 or 12 years my uric acid was cons consistently high around 7 plus uh, range and every time i go for a health check uh, my doctor would prescribe some machines to bring it down and after eating that obviously it would come down and then you, you go back to normal and it rises back to normal within no time so that has been a problem um, that I've been dealing with. I try controlling food a bit, but um, I don't think it helped much. Um, then uh, you know, I, I know a lot of food. You have to give up on a lot of food uh, uh, when you have to uh, uh, when you have uric acid, uh, high uric acid problem. So I was not uh, game for that. So interestingly, I, I know while that was not one of the goals uh, with this. Uh, trial. Interestingly, I found out that all of a sudden my uric acid levels had uh, come down drastically. It was most, sur most surprising. Um, so even with medication, uh, it hadn't come down to such a uh, low uh, level. Um, so that's again one thing I want to share with you. I have some data from uh, uh, the past year or so where I had recorded the uh, uh, uric acid levels. Um, um, so I'd be happy to share the lab reports and uh, with you. Um, so, um, uh, so here you can see uh, my uric acid levels. Uh, so on the left side, I have uh, uh, historical data from way back from 2008. Uh, so there you can see that it is consistently high above seven, which is uh, um, uh, about the you know, reference range, I believe. And uh, more recent data where you can see it is gone as far as 8.5, which is very, very high. At uh, which point, uh, no, uh, doc suggested me to uh, get some uh, medication. Um, so I took some medication and it came down. And as soon as I went uh, off the medication, it came back up again. Um, so uh, the impact of a medication hardly stays for uh, a few weeks, not more than that. Uh, so then, <coughs> Uh, it went back to the same range between 7 to uh, 8 and here is when I started um, one meal a day and intermittent fasting and since here I have not had any medication and you can see that over a period of time it just drastically dropped to 3.3 I don't know it took <laughs> a while but I'm happy that ultimately it did so I was surprised I was not aiming for reducing my uric acid I didn't know it could it could be reduced uh, from following this uh, bad pattern. Uh, so I'm really happy that it has come down for the first time in about 10 years or so. Um, I hope it stays this way. I'll, I'll keep uh, measuring this parameter. And um, I think it's about uh, exactly a month since my last test. So I'll keep measuring this parameter and see if it stays that way or I don't know what fluctuation it has with uric acid. So one uh, unexpected benefit uh, it did come after uh, uh, a few months but uh, uh, yeah it did uh, no, uh, but ultimately it did come down. So unexpected benefits of uh, uh, one meal a day or intermittent fasting. Um, so 